Pawan Varma, you know Nitish Kumar well, you work closely with him. What do you make of this? No, I think that you can say anything about Nitish Kumar, but you can't say he's unintelligent. One thing became very clear to him after he joined the BJP that while he, as you put it, made a flip-flop, the BJP is not the same party as it was when there were his principal interlocutor was Arun Jaitley and there were leaders like Atal Bihari Vajpayee and even Mr. L.K. Advani. This current BJP is an expansionist party which uses regional allies to consolidate its own strength, plays symbolic homage to them, like making them the chief minister, and begins to undercut their base under their nose. Now, why do I say this? You know, Nidhi, it was a transparently Machiavellian move planned by the BJP in the 2020 assembly elections to use Chirag Paswan to cut the votes of the JDU. Chirag Paswan called himself the Hanuman of Naren Modi ji and he managed to cut enough votes of the JDU to cut Nitish Kumar down to size. In fact, in the bargain, the BJP and JDU almost did, did not get a majority on their own. But the RJD won many more seats because it gained largely against the JDU as a result of the Chiraj Paswan factor and Nitish Kumar was cut down to size. The second issue which he watched closely was the use of people like RCP Singh to try and break the JDU as has been done in Maharashtra with Eknath Shinde and the Shiv Sena. That was my but next question. Also, Is that primarily must, what's driving this? That he's yes. afraid of an, uh, you know, an, an Uddhav Thakre being done on him, and you know, uh, uh, his party being split up, uh, and and you know, another power centre created. And I have to ask, if it's not a flip flop, what is it? I mean, what really prompted Nitish Kumar to walk out of that alliance with the RJD back then? He joined hands with the BJP. You were not comfortable with that. You were you were there when all that happened. No, it's true I was not comfortable and dare I say on his own behalf that he himself was never comfortable because the BJP does not treat its allies well, especially when its principal goal, which has eluded it so far, is to come to a majority on its own in Bihar. So the Mr. Nitish Kumar realizes I must confess that he is being used by the BJP and sooner or later he will be dumped. Now, uh, once you add the attempt being made to break the JDU through the use of an otherwise ruthless political leader called RCP Singh and thirdly the almost daily humiliation reaped upon him by people of no consequence but who are in the ruling party at the center and as a part of the government in the state, Nitish Kumar does not react either emotionally or immediately, but he internalizes all of this and somewhere in due course he draws a line. Now whether this line means that he is breaking the alliance right now because it is a Faustian choice. On the other hand, the RJD is a much bigger party and his claim to be the leader of the Gadbandan is obviously minimal. But Nitish Kumar is a presence in Bihar, I can assure you. I may have uh, left the JDU on a matter of principle on the CA and NRC, but I have personally great affection and respect for him. And he is a towering figure in Bihar politics and therefore, he has now reached a point where I believe he will weigh his options and plan his strategy.